Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. So I'm starting out with something very exciting and it's going to the Luke Combs concert. Right now I'm going to be doing a little bit of makeup and then my hair and picking out an outfit and I don't know what I'm gonna wear. So gotta gear up for that. Funny fact, I actually had my first kiss at a country concert. It definitely wasn't good vibes, but Rascal Flatts was playing in the background, so it wasn't all a loss. One of my friends growing up, her dad worked at a concert venue, and it was so much fun. We got to go to a ton of shows. I think it's gonna be a long, hot night. Trying a new eyeliner is scary, but I'm really liking that one. Josh has been working on trying to fix my hat. I feel like is that bad? I feel like that looks good. I'm really picky with lip colors, but this tart, like juicy lip thing always seems to give me such a good look. Let's see if the lashes want to be nice today. Okay, I'm definitely liking this eye better. Ow, that's hot. Normally when I crimp my hair, I like to start with braids and that makes the whole process go a lot faster. And my best friend is texture spray. And then I just do a good flip and scrunch. Voila. Now for the fit. After many trial and error, I think this is the fit. It's this orange tunic from Free People with my little Levi shorts, but it came as a set and I just feel like the denim shorts kind of tie it in. And then of course the cowboy boots. A little boot scoop boogie. I am very excited for Luke tonight. So let's go get some food because we're freaking hungry. A truck. morning it's time for me to get ready for church i'm gonna do a little face wash skincare then my makeup and i put my hair in these braids because i'm hoping that they'll come out nice and curly i'm worried at how tight this is on the bottom that it's gonna be like little teeny squiggles on the bottom but we'll see first i'm doing my paula's choice serum I'm now doing my little vitamin c sunscreen and a bronzy combo glowing and time to remove the braids Okay, a slight wave. Not as busting as I was thinking. I didn't put them in wet, so I feel like they just didn't do that much. I still look good. Nothing a little texture spray won't help. Okay, that definitely helped. We've got a volume. The fit I ended up going with, it gives very like coastal vibes. So I wanted to add a watch to give kind of, I don't know, I haven't worn a watch in a while, so I just felt like that could be kind of fun but I always feel like jewelry spices up any outfit. So yeah, let's do a little fit check. I don't know if you can see that super well, but the white pants are from Grey Bandit and then the top is Jerf Avenue and then I have my little Burke clogs. I actually haven't worn these all summer. I feel like they were my staple fall shoe. So it is kind of fun to bring them out in the summer too. I hope my feet don't sweat. I am not the passenger princess today because Josh is finishing up stuff for the YouTube video. Because we post on Sunday, I feel like it always gets us into a little bit of a crunch time on Sunday mornings. So yeah, right now that is me, but we are leaving pretty much on time. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed we get there on time. I feel like that's been kind of a thing which maybe you can relate if you're in a relationship, but there's one person who on time is early and there's the other person who on time is Su on time is suggestive no it's five not. minutes late no it's on time on time is on time no pulling into the parking spot on a time. minute late no on time and then you don't walk in on time that doesn't sit right with me so anyway that's kind of what we go through every sunday morning which is just a joy and a blessing we just got back from church and Alyssa was waiting with little tulips for me so precious I feel like this goes with the vibe of my outfit a lot. I planned to mask. So yeah, she must have known what I was gonna be wearing. Please look at Josh right now. This is his Sunday energy. I feel like medieval times music needs to be playing with this. I feel like Ella enchanted. So we're trying on dresses for the garden backyard wedding tonight. And I feel like this one is fun, but these are so like 
Also, our dresses, our vibes are very different. We're not in the same party. <laughs> no, I'm going to a tea party. And I'm going to a garden party, but that's okay. This dress is kind of taking over me, though. Yeah. Like, I can't look at me. I you am. a buzz cut to <laughs> I, I am this dress. Like, these, it, which yeah. is fun. It's definitely fun. But I think we keep, I think we keep trying. I need my step stool for it. But it's like a high-low, which I normally don't ever go for. But for some reason, it, it just works. It's very pretty. I do need like a safety pin though because I think the straps are just, they're a little big. Okay. <laughs> this is the next option. And honestly, this is so fun, like with a pair of big chunky heels. But I just don't know what the vibe is. Is it more pastel or is it more like I am a pom-pom? Like, I feel like a little cute cupcake. So basically, I've been talking about Rachel's wedding today. It's their second anniversary, and each year from her wedding, she's done like a anniversary party, but basically another like backyard wedding, because why not celebrate more? And also, she always thrifts like these cute wedding dresses. So it's just an excuse to be married part three to the same guy. I literally just spilled red sauce all Stay over, all over. I wanted to give some context to the wedding. So it is a wedding today but to the same guy the third time. And now I'm working on the floral arrangements and the girls are getting the karaoke machine out back there. So it's gonna be fun vibes. We got lots of like white and pink and baby's breath and just all the pretty things. This is kind of like the pop of color. That sounds amazing. <laughs> This is what we're working with so far. And then Rachel made this like pasta bake and then there's another pasta here. It smells so good. Rain back on flower duties per huge. She literally is one with mother nature. No, the last minute touches just, are what's making it. Oh, I ripped the leaves off. I have 80. But that's crucial. So you're fine. Somebody's gotta do I it. Too, so Tough jobs. Well. She did like, okay. So she, and then you're presented floats down the aisle and then we could all like run up to the camera like a magic queen like really cute yeah, and then, and we, then could we could go back away and then and I, spin away. Yeah. I know you wish it was me and then we yeah. you wish it was me yeah, yeah. But, like, you gotta give me the whole choreography so I have a okay okay I ready oh, no. she, 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 she 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 floats down the aisle like a pageant queen I know and then we all said you she, wish it was me you wish it was me. Coda, did we do a good job? He was yeah. watching us do our TikToks and he was doing, he was cheering so good. This bump. This. We're doing Alyssa's hair um, for the wedding. Oh, oh, baby's breath gone. I might have the flattest hair in the world. <laughs> it's okay. I hate you look so funny right now. Rachel is picking out her wedding dress. Option one. So yeah. classy with the gloves, because this this is like perfect. With the I thought gloves, it was a I little, like it's just enough. I think it's like pushing costumey to the point where I'm like, I wanna. You wanna elevate it. I wanna either send it or I yeah. wanna. Then send it. But I do feel like if I was in like a vintage car and I had feathers everywhere and I was like. Yeah, I love it. Option two, the girls are saying it's too safe for a third wedding. Yeah, you gotta go big, and I think go we do home. this be one Rachel. and do the feathers on it. Like, you look stunning. Turn around, the back is stunning. It's gorgeous, but I feel like we could go playful. Go Nate likes one. this one more, because he's like, my woman. My yeah, woman. it looks more womanly. I'm like, this is I feel like girls. a short one, too. I can be like, jumping in the pool. Yeah. Like this, I can't do a toe touch. Right, strapping up. When your girls are really grilling for you. Yeah, they're doing the most. Right. Right. So will you be feathers up, girl? Put your foot in this. I literally am Cinderella right now. 2 a.m. in the car playing. I literally am super good. <laughs> That's okay. so freaking cute. Okay. Time to get married. Turn it up, windows down. We sing along. The summer night has just begun. Let's have some fun. One, thank you guys all for being here. Oh, this is everything. With you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. Wanna go. Hey. 
are back from the wedding now and it literally was so much fun. I feel like just hanging out with your friends and why not have a reason to celebrate? So like I was explaining earlier, Rachel does these every year on her anniversary as like another wedding, basically because she loves like hosting dinner parties and because she thrifts wedding dresses. But they were even giving a speech at dinner and it's like, why not have a reason to celebrate where it's celebrating their love and then all of the people around. And then especially when you move to a new area, it's weird you meet these new friends and you're like, whoa, I wish you were at my wedding. So it's just kind of a little glimpse of that. So I think it was like a super cute, fun night and we were really happy to be there. I feel like I've been going to bed so late and honestly, like a month or two ago, we were in such a good routine of getting into bed at like 9 or 9.30 and then definitely sleep by 10. And we'd wake up at like 6 or 6.30. I know in different seasons of your life, you're going to be more on like your workout grind or your sleep schedule or you're hanging out, but it's just tough. It's like whenever you're doing one really well, then the priorities or like going to bed on time or doing your workouts, it's like those seem to fall through. You really can't juggle everything. So I think life is about just appreciating whatever season you're in and at least doing some of the things well. And in this season, I've been flossing. So that is a check mark for me. So now without further ado, it's time for me to get in bed. That's really freaking good. Good morning. I feel like I have a ton of work today. We go out of town in two days for my like family reunion. And so I just have so much like computer stuff. So I think I'm gonna do a quick little devotion and then just get right onto my work and figuring out like what I have to do, which definitely means a to-do list. But I had such a good night last night. I know I already talked about it, but it's like, I don't know, when you have a fun thing on the weekend, I feel like it makes me go into the week like, so inspired. So yeah, I'm just happy to be sipping my coffee. And then my t-shirt, I just got a package in from my friend Hannah. She owns her business. It's called Shop All of Lynn. And funny enough, that's actually how we met. I like worked with her business and I'm pretty sure it was like 2017 or something, super early when she just sold like little t-shirts and little necklaces. But I just got this in the mail and a hoodie and it just makes me so happy. Like I love her stuff so much. We are getting our fence redone today and they started the work on it and it just started pouring rain. So I'm really sad because I'm hoping that they're gonna be able to like finish doing that. But the fence project was something we'd wanted to do since we moved in. It's just very expensive to do a fence, but the one that we had was like mismatched all around and falling over. So we were a little bit worried with like hurricane season coming up and just the privacy of it and doing any landscaping we wanted to the yard. That was going to be the first step. So it's an exciting decision, but definitely like a huge decision that we made. So that is in the works right now. I'm so excited about it, but you can like see it from down on my window and Almost our whole fence is gone right now. It looks so weird. I just grabbed some packages from the front door and I wanted to show you some new things that I'd gotten in. First is from Free People Movement. The feeling of this set is like buttery, soft, just the best thing ever. I feel like most of their stuff is more of an athletic material and this one is like comfy, cozy, stretchy. Honestly, I should try this on because it's just too freaking cute. And how thoughtful that they sent it in purple when I'm in my purple era. The next package is from Sunbleach Swim and HB Goody. Her name is Heather and it's like a mom that I've followed for a long time on Instagram and TikTok, but she has her own swimwear company. I love supporting not only small businesses, but especially ones that are very ethical and good for the environment. Look at the patterns on this. So these are the bottoms and then this is the top. They're some of the most flattering suits that I have. I get so excited when she has a new draw. Then I got something that is out of my comfort zone and it's a one piece but come on look at that freaking color and pattern and then i feel like it's going to be so flattering like high on the hip and then the last one i got is in this like sunny yellow and orange print 
it has the same underwire top but then like a little tie here and another top it's like this sporty athletic one which i love swimming in these because they're so comfortable next package is more swimsuits which i know crazy i do not need more but lenny swims is another brand that i am absolutely in love with their stuff same thing it's a small business their suits are ethical and with how much i wear a swimsuit I genuinely love having like a new fun thing. This is the first one. It is reversible. It's hot pink and light pink. And look at that little floral pattern. And then on the other side, it's more of like a tropical, like bigger flowers. And then the top to go with it is a little bandeau with a tie. And a second top that I can have is like this sporty one, but it has a little bit of a V cut. And I think that's going to be so flattering. Then we have this stunning blue one. It's striped on one side and then has a little floral on the inside. So this one is reversible as well. And then the string top that has like the patterns on each side and same thing has a reversible and the inside is polka dots. The outside is this gorgeous tropical print. I think that's so cute. I can't wait to wear this one. And then last up, we have a brown and green. And if this doesn't give the most like adventure safari girl, I don't know what does. How freaking cute. I have a code Natalie with them that gets you a discount if you're getting like a full set. So I'll leave the link to that in the description. Then from my friend Hannah, who you guys have definitely seen in the vlogs, she has her business shop all Lynn. Look how cute this shirt is. It says life comes in waves. I'm just here for the ride. So freaking cute. And then her tank tops, which I wear all the time. I wear these ones like without a bra or just like by themselves. This baby blue color looks adorable with my Jerf headband. She knows me so well. And then a new hoodie that is gonna be like my summer staple in this salmon color. And it's pretty simple, but then on the bottom here it says, I just wanna swim the ocean, wake up with the sun, eat good food, dance in the rain, find rainbows, watch the sunset and fall in love with life. How cute, it's like wearing Pinterest. You can also use code Natalie at Shop All of Lynn and I'll put the link in the description. I just tried on this suit from Lenny and I think I'm gonna wear it to sunset tonight. I have to go tonight because we are leaving tomorrow. So then I'm not gonna be able to go for like the next week. So I feel like I need one last good Florida sunset. Also because it's been storming, that's always when the prettiest sunsets come out or the gloomiest, but we're gonna go for the prettiest tonight. <laughs> Since it's 7-Eleven today, the date, I need to go to 7-Eleven and get the free like Slurpee. So I posted a TikTok about it and I hope you went. I hope you saw it. So now I'm craving it. We made it to the sunset. It's gonna be so freaking pretty. It's, it's looking like Cosmo and Wanda. <laughs> it's mother's night out. Now I'm back home from the beach. I feel like I didn't film that much, but it was honestly such a much needed night. It's always a hard balance because I love sharing my life and friendships and everything, but finding that balance of like what to record and then also what is like just time with friends, I never want that to be like out of balance. So it's like when we go to the beach, I love to share those moments. It's so much fun and I just feel like we have a good time doing them, but also it's like, just as much my favorite when we put the camera away and just get to talk. I'm really blessed that I have a lot of amazing friendships and people in my life, but let me just go on the record that it takes a lot of work to have good friendships because first and foremost, you have to be a good friend yourself. And that is easier than it sounds because a good friend is somebody who doesn't talk about people behind their backs. A good friend is somebody who gives them the benefit of the doubt or handles confrontation, which I feel like most most people are really scared of conflict or confrontation. And I definitely do not like conflict. But the thing of it is, is when you are having friendships, you're gonna disagree about things sometimes or just have a different point of view or go through times of feeling awkward or, you know, there's a million things that can happen and you go through different seasons of life where when you have good friendships, you aren't trying to force something that's not there, but also just having honest communication is really healthy. I say all of that to say because I feel really blessed to have people in my life who are very invested and really amazing friends, but it hasn't always been that way and I feel like there's been those seasons of my life more when I was younger that it just felt really difficult and there was feelings of being left out or it was probably a lot of insecurity in my own life. It made me not as good of a friend and so then it's kind of just a spiral of like an insecurity that leads to things that just aren't good in friendships. Anyway, I say all of that because we had just such a good talk and like stayed until it basically got pitch black on the beach and just about everything from what is new in life and what we're going through, what things we're excited about and goals. And I feel like that was just so refreshing. That is another thing is obviously in a friendship to be invested in people people's lives and truly rooting them on and celebrating when good things happen 
and being there for sympathy or empathy or any of those things when bad things happen. Just those are all good things to work on in yourself and in creating new friendships or starting new friendships to like already have that in mind. So I'm very happy going to bed right now because I just feel like my soul is filled and I just had such a good night. And I'm going to end the vlog here. I love you guys so much and I hope your summer is going amazing. Mm -hmm.